to Crazy Towns 10 minutes or less. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT. And I'm Mighty Explosives 1. Let's start the timer. Ba-ding. TNT. Yo. Do you remember the first video game that ever that you ever completed 100% on? Wow. No. Yeah. Well, do you, can you think of an early... Because, like, obviously, like, Nintendo games didn't have 100%, right? They're basic, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what What wow. comes to mind for me... Was yeah. on Super Nintendo, okay. Super Mario World. You had to get 96 with the star because you did every every level, beat the ones the both ways. You went through Star World and got those both beat. Because well, okay. when you hit 96, you got the little star. Okay. That's okay. probably the earliest thing I can remember. Okay. And and honestly, when you said Super Mario, it brought to my attention is that Super Mario for not the 64, but the one for uh, with the three sticks. What was that one? 64. Was that 64? Yeah, yeah. yeah. What Mario was the six- one where you flew around with Mario Land and you had like the hat that turned you into a fly boy? Yeah, that was Mario World for Super Nintendo. Was it? Yeah, yeah. That was the one, yeah. And they had Star Road and stuff. No, not the one where you like get the cape. Which one? The one with oh, the- that was the cape one, yeah. Okay, the not fet- the cape one. The one that was Super Mario. The um, 3D one? The first 3D? The 3D that one. was Mario 64. That was Mario 64. Yeah. Yep, yep. Okay. Yeah. Okay, well, then it was that one. That one? All right. But that one, you had to get 120 stars. Yeah, I don't remember. I didn't play. I didn't, I didn't. I had a 64 way late. I had a PlayStation. That would be the first game that I can recall ever getting, like, 120 stars and beating everything and getting the secret ending where you get to see Yoshi at the top of the castle. <laughs> like, yeah. I remember all of that very vividly. All right. Do you remember, like, the first game, like, some of the first games that you ever beat ever for, like, Nintendo or, like, Atari or anything like that? <laughs> Why you gotta say Atari? I don't know what an Atari is. Shut up. Atari. Yeah. Shut up. Um, I don't know. I remember playing a game for Atari that was like you're a robot and you would go through these screens and you have to shoot enemies. And I played it for seven hours straight in one day, and the levels just started over once I got past level 100. And I was absolutely just like crushed that there was no. Yeah, real Atari. Ending. I don't think had many endings. It no. just kept going because there was a game I used to call play called Yar's Revenge. Yeah, and uh, it was super fun. Oddly enough, I used to be a badass at it when I was a kid. I went back and tried to play it in my 20s, mm-hmm. and I was like, this is the hardest game ever in the exactly. world. How did I ever beat this? How did exactly. I ever do this? Like, um, I definitely remember I remember Ninja Guy never beating it and hating that game. I remember Battletoads hating that game because you can never get past yeah. a turbo tunnel. I remember uh, th- there was a ton of games that I remember playing and never I, beating. I beat DuckTales for Nintendo. I remember that. I beat Castlevania 1. Wow. I remember that. Contra. Everybody's beat Contra with yeah. a cheat code. Yeah, okay. Contra, yeah. Mario 1, Mario 2. Yeah. Beat those. I guess, yeah, I guess maybe those were some of the first. Mario 1 was pretty easy to 100%. Yeah, you, I wouldn't call, call it 100%ing because there wasn't like, you could warp zone and do all that yeah. stuff. Um, there wasn't, it, there were shortcuts in all those games. <laughs> but uh, Maniac you- Mansion I beat, which is which was dude that was like the first like an rpg almost okay in a way because you had to go around and get items and use an item to go do something else and like do this and that, that game was fun i don't remember that game. yeah it was it was weird I, it doesn't seem like a type of game that you would have played probably it's one of those t- text-based walk around Ew, words it's not it's almost like Shadowgate, but like you actually walked around and did stuff too yeah and it, this reminds me of a video game that my grandmother bought me. Oh yeah! For Christmas when I was a wee lad, and it was called Dizzy, and you played as an egg. Okay. And it, was, and it was a platformer, but it was also a Christian game. Oh really? For what system? <laughs> for Nintendo. Really? It was a Christian game. I didn't know at the time, so I, you know, I get to it and I'm like, oh okay, oh, this is Jesus cool. Is at the end. And then it was like, oh, the Lord is our shepherd; I shall not want. What Bible verse is this from? I was like, the hell are you talking about, video game? And my family is always a bunch of big oh churches. Oh my god! Did I find- didn't, the fantastic Dizzy Treasure Island Dizzy. Yeah, there's Dizzy, a bunch Prince of Prince of Yoke Folk. Yeah, there's a bunch of Yoke Folk. Yeah, that's because you're yoked by the devil. Dude, oh my god! I yeah, didn't it's even a know series. This was a game. They didn't bring Jesus into my house. It's, it's pretty. It's pretty crazy. Um, it was during that time period where like uh, Mario was missing is out, which was like a text-based like uh, yeah, yeah, history history game or whatever. Yeah, I remember. 
getting really pissed at uh, Bart versus the Space Mutants because yes. that game that was another impossible game. Impossible. Um, yeah, yep. I, I actually that was a game that I went back when I got older and got farther than I ever got as a kid, mm -hmm. but still couldn't beat it. It was impossible. Mm -hmm. Um, that part where you did paint spray paint all the red crap purple yeah. or purple crap yeah. red or whatever the hell it was. The game was hard. The game was hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah that was uh, that wasn't was super wasn't super good either. No, no, it was just the Simpsons and they were hot back then. Yeah, now the Simpsons game was pretty good. I beat that in the arcade when I got yeah. older. Uh, when I went to Vegas, if you got enough quarters, you can beat that game. Exactly. Well, what happened was we went to Vegas and there was four of us and we we're like, we go into Circus Circus and there was an arcade and we we're like, let's beat the Simpsons game while we're here. And we we're drunk, right? Yeah. So like we just each went and got a roll of quarters, 10 bucks a piece. Yeah. But what happened was one of the players was broke. So only three of us could play at a time. And we just oh, kept cycling. When one of us would die, the other one would cycle in and we would just like, who did, but who we did beat you? it. And that was the first time I ever beat it. And it was awesome. I don't who, even remember what happened in the end. Who'd you use? We rotated through because when somebody, one of the I characters mean, was broke. I don't remember which one. So oh, like when somebody characters. died, the next person jumped in. and the next, So I mean, you kind of just got to use everyone as we oh, went okay. through. Um, I'm a big Marge Simpson fan. My, my yeah, yeah. I, I like that. She had the vacuum and, and you the range. thing where you had to blow up the Smithers balloon, like the, the yeah, things in between. Yeah. Um, I do remember in finding out how to, accidentally finding out how to find Reptile in Mortal Kombat 1. Where if you like if you upper if you didn't do something and you uppercutted the guy on the bridge level he fell in the pit and then uh, and then reptile came and fought you and he whooped my ass so hard because I didn't know how to do it the first time. And my, hmm. I remember calling my friend who was grounded and he wasn't allowed to talk on the phone and like I called him to tell him even though he was grounded and like he did, and he didn't get in trouble. <laughs> I was a I was like I'm so sorry if you get in trouble but like I do it I found reptile I had to call and tell you and he was like I hope my mom doesn't yell at me and I was like it's okay and he, he didn't get in trouble he didn't get... Mortal Kombat man I remember I was one of the first kids or one of the few kids I should say that had a computer with a printer okay and I, and I remember going online for Mortal Kombat trilogy and basically downloading the entire Prima guide and I remember, I remember bringing it to school and kids were like, oh, you have the entire Mortal Kombat trilogy print Prima guide. And I had it in like a binder and it had more, I had written Mortal Kombat trilogy on it and marker. And I actually let some kids borrow it. And I think I still have it to this day, which is surprising. I didn't get stolen. Because I'm printer paper. Yeah. Dude, yeah. I still have the Final Fantasy VII Prima guide. Wow. Dude, that thing is awesome. I will never get rid. Of, I just, I just got rid of a ton of my old magazines and books that, like, I'm like, I've been holding on to this forever. I thought it might be worth money. It's never going to be worth money. But I definitely didn't sell did, that that Final Fantasy VII Prima Guide because that, that's a game I'd play again. Did you beat Final Fantasy VII? Absolutely. You know, funny enough, Jonas, I've played most other Final Fantasies except for seven. Yeah, I, uh, I when I was when that game came out, I played it. I had over over 99 hours. Yeah. I, ma I maxed because the time stopped at 99 yeah, hours. Yeah, yeah. So I was 99, 99, 99. I beat Ruby Weapon. I beat Emerald Weapon. Wow. I maxed out all the materia. Wow. I, dude, I, I would probably say I 100%ed wow. that game. Dude, I, I played the F out of that game. It's so funny that I skipped seven because I've, I've beaten eight. I've That's beaten, trash. I've beaten eight, eight nine. Trash. nine. I beat trash. ten. I beat ten too. Ew. Dude, <laughs> after seven, I went to play eight and I was like, this game is garbage. And eight wasn't that good, so you're not wrong. I, I didn't play that. any of them after that. <sighs> after I just I was like, I can't even do it. And I even beat the one the most recent well, not the most recent one, the one with Noctis, where there's like the four brothers in the in the oh, car. Oh, I hated that one. Fifteen, Dude, where you like run around in like the gas station at the beginning. I'm yeah, like oh, I love God. that game. It was so good. I like the turn based. I will play I do like the um like the old ones for Super Nintendo, mm -hmm. that were the turn-based ones that were kind of like Zelda. Um, those were fun. Those yeah. were fun, too. I did start playing... At one point, I had a emulator and started playing... Uh, what the hell was it that I never played? Chrono Trigger. Okay. And I was like, wow, this is really good for an old RPG. And then, like, I think I had it on my tablet, and the tablet got corrupt. And, like, I was like, I'm not starting over. <laughs> no, I don't blame you. Yeah. So I heard I that's a good game, though. Chrono Trigger? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's one of those ones that, like, if you have the actual cartridge, is worth, like, a stupid amount of money. Yes. That and Earthbound was the other one. Yeah. The, the, those old, really old RPGs for Super Nintendo. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Those games were good, so. Anyways, a little different for us today, but uh, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please go to thecrazytown.com for Jonas. TNT. Oh, uh, yeah.